Hey guys, stay tuned until the end of the video. We're gonna be announcing a uh, little competition giveaway. So stay tuned. What's happening everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Restro Thunder Road. Well, as you can see, we have a little helper today. Hey, Soka. I haven't seen you in a while. I know. The girl. <laughs> Sweet girl. Well, we are back with the 1986 Series 6 Snapper Extra Tough riding lawnmower. And in the last video, left you guys with an update on our intake manifold here. Let's see if I can show you guys where we've got that red gasket maker. We've got a huge crack on the manifold here. And so, what we've got is the replacement right here. So this is a used new to us intake manifold. So what we're gonna do is just take off this old one here and then just pop on the replacement here. So we'll get to that and that should hopefully solve our uh, surging issue with the RPMs just constantly going up and down, up and down. I'm thinking once we fix the intake manifold, this machine's gonna start to run a lot better. And we also got a friction disc in the mail today. Hopefully later in this video, I'll show you guys what that is all about and we'll get that installed. And also, I know Soka, we almost forgot. We got a, uh, a new blade here for the deck. So brand new blade. We'll be swapping that out, cleaning up this deck. We need to address everything in here, make sure that's all working properly. If everything checks out with the machine, I think we'll go ahead and put all the covers and everything back on and get it all reassembled back to 100%. But yeah, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and just get into this one. Soak is ready, I'm ready. Let's do this. I need to do a little house cleaning. My workstation is a disaster here right now. Connections off. There we go. Carburetor's off. And now, there we go. Sweet. All right. Let me show you guys this piece. Oh yeah. See, there's our broken piece. Broke all the way through right there. I'm sure we were getting an air leak somewhere in there. Yep. All right there. That's where it broke. Pretty big chunk. Pretty big chunk. All right. This one is garbage. All right guys, got the new one here. Um, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and then get all this reassembled, get it put back on the machine and then we'll fire her up for a little test run. All right, check it out here y'all. 
the new intake manifold. There we go, got that installed. So we're gonna go ahead and get the covers back on, get the air box and the air filter back on, put the gas tank back on. All right, y'all, we got her all reassembled, put back together, even got the seat back on here. Gas tank's on, got all the covers on, and we went ahead and touched up this top cover with some new white paint. Also took some steel wool to this one here, kind of cleaned it up a little bit there. Looks a lot nicer. Air filter and air box are back on. Oh, I don't know if I told you guys or not. I uh, ordered a key too. So we don't have to use our screwdriver anymore. <laughs> Go ahead and top off this oil right quick. It's a bit low. Let's see. Just add a little bit in there. Fall on there. Just using some 10W30. Oh, that's better. Yeah. A lot better. Gas is on. Alright. See what happens. Alright, well, I think that squares everything away with the motor here. It's running pretty good. Probably a little bit of fine tuning still to do here and there. I haven't really messed with that carburetor at all. We could probably dial that in a little bit better. But overall, I'd say this is a victory on getting the old Wisconsin Robin running again. So I think what we're gonna do now is move on to the deck here. First order of business I think we need to do is kind of clean this up first and just kind of inspect and see how everything's going in there. We'll get the new blade on too. So yeah, let's get this outside and hose this down. So it looks like we have the blade that turns on, so that engages the blade, so that puts tension on the belt. And then if it's on, push the pedals down, that locks it into place there. Right there. And then I'm guessing tension from the belt will release it there, so you gotta have the pedals down prevent you from locking it. So it looks like, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm guessing the weight of it. So the front and the backs lift up like that. And that locks it into place there. Cool. All right. Well, seems like everything works. All the springs are in there. Just need to clean this up. Look at that. <laughs> All right, let's hose this down.
Got them both. There we go. So it came off just like that. This way, so it goes on just like that. that'll work. We got it. All right. Now we just need to get this belt on. And we should be good to go. Is that it? <laughs> loose but oh, okay that's better yeah. it wasn't on the wheel all the way in the rear there that's more it's got a lot more tension yeah I feel like that should work yeah try that all right guys so check this out you move lever here that's what drops it. You kind of do a lift and a push. Gets pretty low there. There you go. Cool. You'll probably do about there. All right guys, we got the machine here in the backyard. Everything is assembled, ready to go here. Let's give this baby a little test drive, test cut here. All right, let's do it.
nice. <laughs> Let's have a look at our handiwork here. Oh yeah, look at that. Well, that sliced it right down, didn't it? Look at that. Doesn't turn very sharp. <laughs> well, I say she cuts pretty dang good. All right, guys. Well, let me know what you think of this one in the comments. So far, I think the motor's running great. Blades are cutting real nice. No complaints here about this machine. But I do want to touch up the wheels here. These are really rusted. I want to paint these, clean these up and paint these. So we'll get to that. And I also completely forgot about that friction disc. So we're going to have a look under the hood here. And we'll dive into that and I'll explain what that is. Battery's doing good. I uh, don't think I showed you guys, but we do get a charge uh, when the machine's running. So our charger's working. And yeah, I think we just need to kind of grease her up a little bit here and there and do the rims and probably hit the red too. And definitely these handlebars as well. But yeah, guys, I think it's going to do it for this one. Oh, this. So there's a channel out there that's been popping up a lot on my YouTube. Anytime I get stuck on something or I'm just not quite sure what to do, I'll turn to YouTube and uh, get a lot of help from there from different channels. And this channel, 2 Vintage, I'll put a link for it like right here or down here or somewhere. 2 and then Vintage. 2 Vintage Joe, I call him. He works on a lot of uh, small engine projects, a lot of two stroke, four strokes. I don't think he's ever done a lawnmower before. I don't think I've seen a video on a vintage lawnmower. But I actually got stumped a few times on this machine and he had a couple of videos that really helped me out. Uh, didn't have anything to do with lawnmowers, but because it had to do with motors, it really, really helped me out. So as a thank you, I thought it would be cool if all of you all could go to 2 Vintage, just go to his most recent video and just leave a comment that says, Restro Thunder Road says thank you. Just leave that comment on his page. I'll give it a day or two and I'm going to enter all of the comments into a drawing and maybe I'll have my wife draw the names or something. I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. But we'll have a winner. Maybe we'll have a few runner-ups and you get to win this guy. My wife actually made this too. So SV Thunder Road for the sailing vessel. This is why we started the channel in the first place. Oh yeah, also throwing in a couple of these koozies too. SV Thunder Road. Oh, it looks like it has a little bit of <laughs> Soka's hair on it too. So make it a little more personal there. So yeah, two vintage. Restro Thunder Road says thank you. Like his page, subscribe to it, watch his videos. Two Vintage Joe does really, really great stuff. I think he's actually from Wisconsin as well. Jack right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. And until next time, peace. Take it easy.